Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of An Idiot On Board. As you can see, today I ain't in bike gear. And if we have a look around, there's no bike. There is no bike. So, something a little bit different today, and I know I've said, oh, something a bit special, something a bit different quite a few times recently. Um, but this time it is something totally different. Basically, what we decided to do is, uh, myself and, and Kate, who you've seen in a lot of my videos before, um, we've decided we're gonna go for a wild camp, but we're gonna do it without without motorbikes. Um, but to make it a little bit more special, and a little bit more challenging, uh, we're not just wild camping, we're gonna hammock camp. And the best thing about this is, is neither of us have ever hammock camped before. We've never done anything like this before. We, uh, we got a couple of hammocks each. Um, we have come to a um, specific wild camp. So we decided not to just roam off into some random woodland somewhere and uh, go and try and hammock camp there and have a, have a fire on that. Because as most of us know, or most of us are aware, technically um, it's, it is illegal to wild camp anywhere in England, and I believe Wales as well, without permission of the landowner. Um, there are a few exceptions where it's tolerated like Dartmoor, it's tolerated and there's areas where you can camp. Um, I think sort of in the Lake District as well, there's areas again where you can wild camp and it's kind of tolerated and, and accepted. But yeah, but because it's our first time and we've never done it before, uh, as in hammock camping and, and going like full on hog wild bushcrafty style wild camp, we decided that we we're gonna to come to a, a specific wild camp. So it's, it's an area of land where the um, owners allow people to come and there's a nominal charge. I think it's a tenner a night, which, phew, be fair is next next to well i say next to nothing but uh, you know, it's a couple of pints in the pub that i can forgo um and yeah and then you can just have got a thousand acres or whatever it is of land and you can roam find a place you want to go and pitch up which is fantastic um there's there's no amenities on site so there's no drinking water there's no toilet facilities there's nothing like that so it is literally just a safeish place where you are allowed to go and you have permission to go so that's why for his first time doing this we decided to come here um, but yeah, have a look. <laughs> she snuck up on me. <laughs> we're just about to collect up some wood. We've had a little scout and found where we're gonna stay for the night. Uh, gonna cook up some grub and, and have a laugh. So if you're interested, if you're interested in bushcraft, wild camping, hammock camping, all that kind of stuff, then yeah, follow along, come watch the video. It's gonna be a laugh and a half, I reckon, because we genuinely have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, like, we haven't got a clue, have we? No. <laughs> well, there she, there she is. <laughs> what are you yanking my chain for? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> but yeah, we, we've, we've generally got no idea what we're doing. So this is gonna be a learning process for us. Um, and it, it's gonna be one of those things of, oh, we might have to look at YouTube and things like that and try and figure out what we're doing and why we're doing it. But whose idea we'll was- make it work. Whose idea was this? Uh, definitely yours. <laughs> we're gonna go get some wood then. Yeah. You got wood? <laughs> I am. Not yet. Have you? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> go on then, let's go get some wood. <laughs> See you in a bit. When I'm looking for twigs for like I've got a twig burner, which hopefully I'm gonna cook on tonight. Um, but something like this, it won't snap, it's way too green. Um, so that ain't gonna burn very well. So we need dead stuff. So stuff like this, still very green, it's not gonna die, it, it, it's not gonna burn properly. So we want nice dead stuff, which, ow, to be fair, there's not a lot of that around here looking at it. But yeah, nice dead stuff has a nice, nice snap and breaks nicely. This is the kind of thing you want? A real nice clean snap. Um, yeah, that's gonna be dead dry inside. That'll go up really nice and it'll burn really nicely. Just nice, clean snap. And it should be relatively smoke-free as well. 
Um, yeah, so we're gonna carry on. We're gonna get some, like I say, get some sticks, get some wood. Kate's busy away over there <laughs> cutting some logs. <laughs> um, but like, like I say, when you're gathering wood and stuff for things like this, um, you, you kind of work by the leave no trace, uh, the idea of leave no trace. So basically leave everything as you found it, i.e. you know, don't leave scars on the ground from your fires, don't leave um, rubbish everywhere and stuff like that. Make sure you take it back with you. Um, so the, the place that we're at doesn't allow fires on the floor. So I've got a little fire pit that we're going to use. Um, so that will leave no trace there. But likewise, when we're gathering wood, what we're actually doing is making sure that we only gather stuff that's already fallen. So uh, dead logs off the floor, um, dead twigs, that kind of stuff. So nothing that, you know, we're not cutting a tree down. We're not taking branches off anything um, because obviously you can't replace that. You can't fix it. Um, but there's plenty of dead wood around here. There's plenty of stuff that's been on the ground for a long time. So that's, that's what we're gathering. Uh, but yeah, so once we've done that, We'll, uh, we'll take you up to the site that we found. We, we scouted out a little spot earlier, like I said, and uh, we'll take you up there and we'll, we'll have a look. But like, like I said, we've, we've done lots of tenting before. Like you've seen, we've been out on the bikes loads, we've tented with wild camp with tents and stuff, but we always bring stoves. We always um, you know, have a full rig set up and that. We've, we've never ever hammocks before. This is, the, I mean, literally, the first time we saw our hammocks was we looked at them the other night, didn't we? Yeah. And um, we swapped out the webbing for some, um, there's some whoopee slings like because again all the research i've done on that suggests that's an easy thing to do I'm, we'll see yeah we'll see I'm, i may well have just wasted my money but you never know um yeah so generally we've not set them up before we don't we don't know what we're doing so um it is going to be a make it up as it as, as we go along isn't it yes it is <laughs> <laughs> she's just waiting for me to sit in my thing and me hammer can either for me to flip over or uh and and just, just spin over and over and get wrapped up in it. <laughs> yeah, or it just go boof and collapse. <laughs> Please. You're horrible to me. I don't know why I bring you on these things, you know. <laughs> She's always mean to me, have you noticed? <laughs> but yeah, so nice snappable twigs, nice little bit of firewood, and uh, yeah, we'll go, go and do something. <laughs> right, let's take you to the campsite. Where are we going, Kate? We are going to camp. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Oh, off-roading in a lowered van that's not made for off-roading. <laughs> I didn't tell you to come this way. It's, to be fair, it's not as bad as the way we came up in the first place. <laughs> hey, look, I'm still smiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm still smiling. Always. Until I hear the sun grind out. <laughs> like I say, we this this site's massive, and uh, we drove up to a place where I thought actually it's probably because I've been here before. I came in February and it was like 12 inches deep in mud everywhere. Um, so I drove up to a place that I knew and I thought actually we'd, we'd we'd be all right there where I've just collected the wood, but they've actually thawed out a lot of the trees. So it's like the spacings between the trees are just way too big for a hammock. Uh, probably twice the size of what they need to be. So we had a walk around earlier before we got the wood and um, we've, we've found a nice little spot actually, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. Um, so it's... Uh! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's right over the other side of sight and it's it's up a massive hill and whatnot. So um, we were thinking about bagging up and hiking it, weren't we? But. We were, but you with your old man knee. Yeah, so, no. me with my old man knee, you with your old biddy hips. And... <laughs> what? I've got old biddy <laughs> hips. <laughs> well, yeah, 20, 21 kilo backpack, and we've like not really done out like this before, and so we've uh, we've chicken now. And we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> drive there, but um, we're not we're not using it tonight. We're gonna we're gonna stay in the hammocks. Everything's gonna be hunky dory. Until um, the bears come, because it's full moon, uh, they, yeah. and then we'll run for the van. And, and the wolves is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Well, we'll see what happens, right? Let's get camp. See you in a minute. Why are we going backwards, Chris? Can't get up to hill. <laughs> <laughs> it got very steep and very slippy. So af after saying that we were going to drive the van to the campsite, <laughs> <laughs> we, now, we now gone. <laughs> so now I've got to reverse all the way back down a little single track. 
so you've chickened out of the hike and now we've got to do it anyway yep pretty much great ready to abandon ship yeah <laughs> let's do it come on let's go for a walk kgs let's go yours is heavier than mine i know it is you just you wait until you see her bag <laughs> it's ridiculous you know when they say about bringing the kitchen sink and there is no insinuation there before you say anything <laughs> <laughs> but yes you'll see everything <laughs> bye van Never mind, let's go, let's go. For you, Kate, apart from we'll talk about your bag in a minute. You know when we got stuck up there? Yeah. Why don't we just drop everything off before we reversed all the way down? <laughs> I don't, because we're idiots. <laughs> I just literally said, as, as, as we got out of the van, I went, oh, she goes, what? I went, why don't we just leave everything up there? before we reversed all the way down. No. <laughs> well, yeah, it, oh, yeah. See what I mean? We don't know what we're doing. We're just making it up as we go along. <laughs> we're going to make all the mistakes. Exactly, all the mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got, Kate's carrying the sticky things there so we can make the tripod to go over the fire to cook our chicken, which is in there, along with uh, a little tip on as well, which we might have to treat ourselves to when we get up to the top. Um, we've got, I don't know, I aimed to bring two litres of water with me but I've ended up with one and a half, Kate's ended up with one. <laughs> but we've got a spare in the van so we should be alright. And then we've got like a litre of JD and two litres of coke to drink as well so yeah that'll warm us up, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be warm anyway at the top of this hill. Oh mate, look at the state of it. <laughs> this the thing is though, cameras never show how steep stuff is. No, they don't. And th this is like, it's just like that. <laughs> but anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> Bead on already. <laughs> Here's the offending section. <laughs> well, this is as far as we got. Carried our bags from. Say again, sorry. This is where we could have carried our bags from. So we just, again, you don't. You can't really see how steep it is, and it's a long, long, long way. And we could have stopped just here, but again, we've got all that to go, and I can't remember how far it is up there, can you? No, I think it's about half a mile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating my little naki noonars off. Right, yes, we're here, we found the spot. We, uh, we we come and scope this out earlier. I'll just show you what we got. So it's just a nice little clearing area. We've got a tree there and a tree there, which we can use. Tree there and a tree there we can use. We've already checked ahead for widow makers and stuff like that. There's nothing that's gonna kill us in the night, is there? No. No. No, not, not that we can see coming. <laughs> Get my bag on there then. And then. I haven't seen it. Yeah. It's got a bit of pendulum weight to it. <laughs> <laughs> All of, half of this is a first aid kit in case you hurt yourself again. I'm pretty good at hurting myself to be fair, aren't I? I usually do. <laughs> right. Well, do you know, I've just thought. We've Don't got... say you've forgotten something. No, well, sort of. We've got to go back down and bring up all the wood and that, haven't we? Yeah. So we've got to do, we've got to do another trip. <laughs> right, let's get, let's get some. Uh... <laughs> let's have a JD. <laughs> yeah, let's have a refreshment, and our brains might start thinking again. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. That's up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't about putting hairs on your chest, but that'll put hairs on your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do you know what the problem is now, though? What? We've started on this and not set anything up. Yeah. That's not a problem. It'll be fine. I think the best crack on. <laughs> You're going to give it a test? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> Am I ready? 
Are we there? Oh, I'm on. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, baby. So, what I gather from research then is that foot end needs to be, I say I'm pointing into nothing, foot end needs to be roughly six inches or so higher than head end. But because of the distance of the trees, we could do with them being a bit being a bit further apart, but never mind, we'll work with it. But you seem happy, don't you? Yeah, I'm proper happy, I'm cozy. <laughs> Look and, then, at that. and then the other thing as well is apparently, so apparently you're supposed to lay out a bit of an angle as well. So like your head goes to one corner of the hammock and your feet go towards the other corner. That takes some getting used to, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit flatter. And it just flatter. helps you lay a bit flatter apparently, but. What's your verdict then? No. <laughs> it's cozy. Well we've got to get got to get obviously tarps up and then we've got to get the bug net up and that as well but you can. I'm here now. You're done, is that it? Yeah. With your in your JD infused yeah, state. My JD. <laughs> <laughs> Not even married to her and she's making me do her biddings already. <laughs> Come on, look after the lady. Look after the lady. That's what Tam <laughs> says to me all the time. No, that's my JD, that doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, oh, mate. Thank you. Here you go. Hold on, hold on. You're just a bloody lady of leisure, aren't you? Cheers, um. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, my God. That's good stuff, that is. That's so strong. <laughs> right, let's get camp set up, Milo. Come on. <laughs> you didn't film me getting out. There's still a chance. <laughs> I have faith in you. <laughs> I've made it. Oh, Twig. <laughs> it was on the ground though, was it? It was, yeah. <laughs> I'll just test this. Yeah. I've just got. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit steep that in, isn't it? <laughs> is that in higher than? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's easier. Ready? Ready. Let me get out of the way first. <laughs> Mine's a little bit higher than yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in it. I'm in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right. Uh, uh. So I see now the reasoning for grabbing the back and pulling it up behind you and that literally is to stop someone just going whoop when well, you get in it. Well generally speaking, your mates your mates don't tend to do stuff like that. Do they not? Good job we're not mates. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Get my own back now. Can you go, my lord, Chip? Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> Two chips. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How was it? How was it? Happy as a bug in a rug, or a pig in blanket, <laughs> or a sausage in an owl. Oh. <laughs> toad in owl. Oh, toad. Dirty sod. <laughs> right. I like that. I think. Do you know what we did forget? What? Left the roll mats in the van. Did we? You know the ones that I specifically bought to go because they're foam and they'll insulate better? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got to walk back down the hill. Sort it out later. <laughs> right. That two miles back down the hill and back up again. Yeah. <laughs> Swing, little short legs. Swing. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's stuck under the back of my knees. Hold on. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. We're up. <laughs> what are you doing? Should I mansplain it? Go on, mansplain it. <laughs> so this is apparently to stop rainwater running down from the tree or condensation dew or anything like that running down from the tree and wetting my feet or head. So I'm going to do it both sides, see if I can do it right. <laughs> I've done it so far, I've done it wrong. 
<laughs> so we don't want that as long. Wait for it, wait for it. Round. This is JD infused, by the way. <laughs> and then through. That's all right, isn't it, Azat? I think so. So the idea is the water runs down here, and then it's got like three lines to choose from before it runs into my feet. There we go. Should so work, shouldn't it? So it should hit that and then wick down to the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Just straight into the back. Yeah. Yeah, well, that'll be moved anyway, but. <laughs> Well, yeah. it's it's not it's not forecast rain tonight, is it? So, it's not, is it? But, but we're, st we're still going to tarp it and whatnot anyway because we are in Wales. Are we in Wales? Yeah. Yeah. We in Wales? This, we in Wales? Of, this is like half and half. I think part of it's Wales and part of it's England. I'm not sure which side we're on. Well, so, I'm I'm in England. You're in Wales. You're going to get pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> That's just by the locals. Oh. <laughs> sorry, Ian. Sorry, Ian. <laughs> he would. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, mate. He, yeah. <laughs> Just put it into context, Ian is one of our very good friends and he is our local resident, we, we, resident, resident. resident, resident Welshman. <laughs> and uh, he's, a, he's a good chopper, ain't you, Ian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Chris? I'm milking me Barry. <laughs> in, in, in all seriousness. <laughs> so the way these whoopee slings work is basically they're a bit of cordage that um, it gets threaded through itself. And this little bit of line here, it, it works on friction, so I can adjust it by pulling that down or, or what have you. And it, it, I can easily move the lay of the hammock. Um, but one thing you have to do is, this little sleeve, you have to milk it, and it's called milking your barry, <laughs> since we're in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Ian, sorry. That sounded Scottish. <laughs> was that a bit more Scottish, was it? <laughs> milking me barry. Milking me barry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Right, uh, seriousness. So yes, you have to milk the barry, and uh, uh. basically, it <laughs> basically it straightens out your uh, your friction line and stops it from slipping again. So there we go. So I've I've milked the barry. Have um, you milked your barry? No. <laughs> Can you do mine? I don't want to do it. <laughs> Folks on me drink. What do you reckon? So we've got. It's like my own little spaceship. Your own little spaceship. It's yeah. not like a spaceship, doesn't it? Got one there. <laughs> got one just here. No doubt it's going to be, be one of you somewhere looking at that right now going, oh my God, they're going to have a <laughs> night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Proof's in the pudding. See what we look like in the morning. It's, uh, a couple yeah. of pandas. Yeah, a couple of pandas. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, again, okay. So, so I, before we came out, I researched all this and I had a good look at it and I, and I did a load of research and stuff. And I said, you know, I said to Kate, oh, shall we, shall we go hammock camping? And she was like, yeah, why not? Kate, let's go. And then we sort of did it and realised, hold on a minute, we haven't got a clue what we're doing or what we're talking about. <laughs> so we thought, why not? But like some of the research I've done. So for example, when we're trying to lay out the, um, the lay of the hammocks, apparently if you go like that, roughly speaking, and then keep your finger parallel to the floor, the line should... I, do you know what? I can't point now because I've got my hand on the camera. <laughs> you point. The line should lay like this. Should lay like this. There you go. <laughs> so roughly on the, on the angle. Which I did test. And I did come up to it. I just went, yeah, that's about perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've done that. The idea. No. So, so it genuinely is. It's not far off, is it? Not really. Not really, no. But as well, something else I picked up on a lot was a lot of people sort of suggested that your trees should be between four and six paces apart. These are about four of my paces, um, and, I, and I think they're a little bit short, but we, we'll see. It ain't going to put us off, is it? If we, have ah. a, if we have a really crap night, it ain't going to put us off. But right, we've we've been about half an hour, and where is it? There it is. <laughs> there it is, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> and the sun's coming down on us, so we uh, we need to finish off getting set up, get the fire sorted, and uh, and get some food on. What are we cooking? Oh, spatchcock chicken. Spatchcock yeah. chick one. Got Ooh. a nice bit of earth for chilli. Oh, nice bit of earth. Smoky. I don't... Do you know what? I'm pretending like I know what earth for chilli is. I ain't got a clue. Earth for chilli. Smoky Turkish chilli paste. Smear a bit of that on the chicken. Straight over the fire. Beautiful. There we go then. <laughs> no veg. No salad. No. Salad dodging. <laughs> We're just going straight for the meat tonight. <laughs> right, let's get these tops up. Let's get this fire on. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see you in a bit. I haven't tried it yet, have I? So, so we've we've got got the tops up. What we've done is we've flapped them back <laughs> over, 
so that we can we can have as fire pit and cookers chikwan and whatnot. Um, probably not as neat as some of you like. I, I'm sure there's going to be lots of you right now going because it just looks, <laughs> all looks so wrong. But never mind. So I'm going to give it a go. Zip. You know when you've never done something before. <laughs> I meant to get in with a bug net. <laughs> Where's he gone? Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kate? Yeah? My zip's all the way down there. Oh no. I can't reach it. And you got two zips. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you, mate. There we go. There we go. Right. <laughs> uh, right, let me know when the chicken breast's cooked, will you? Get out! Cheers, chef. <laughs> Don't <stop> roll, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know this thing can handle up to 125 kilos, but I'm using it like that, probably not. <laughs> now. That's a nice rock, is it? Let's Will that rock you to sleep? It's a little bit too much. Oh. Just, just a little bit too much. <laughs> Do you know what, mate? That's cosy, isn't it? I'm liking it, I'm liking it. You look quite snug, to be fair. Like, well, I, got, I want to get in mine now. We ain't got his roll mats in yet, have we? No. I can see your bum in a big triangle down at the bottom. Here's Johnny. Ah! What are you saying about my bum? <laughs> <laughs> it's not triangular, I can tell you that, mate. Uh, why are you looking at my bum? Because <laughs> it was sticking out so far. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I like it. I like it. That's well cosy in there. It's, it's like <laughs> you can still see everything, but it's just a little bit dark and a little bit light. Yeah, man. Right. Beautiful. Is it my turn? Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Dun. Actually, no. So that's that's the wrong tune. Isn't it should be dun 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 dun. I prefer that. Dun 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 dun. Can you reach the zip? <laughs> Got it. Got it. Oh yeah, baby. You happy? Yeah, very happy. <laughs> feel like a little. I don't know. It feels like it's slipping a little bit. It's unnerving me a little bit, but I think it's. I think it's just my feet on here. No, nah, it's not moving. It's not. I so, need to learn to trust it. Uh, le le learn, to, learn to trust the craft. <laughs> when, so, number one, like we said before, we don't know what we're doing. And number two, we're fueled with JD at the minute. We are. And with the, like, to be honest, I think most people have probably set this up in like, what, 20 minutes? We've probably been here a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> and the light's disappearing. We've not cooked anything yet. Just we've not is, got a fire going yet. We've got some sticks. Got some well, sticks. we've got some logs. Got some sticks. We turn into sticks. But right. Yeah, we've got a bed. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. And it's I left. quite nice with a half tarp as well. You can still see the sky. Nice little bit of cover. Until it rains. It's not going to rain. No. Nah, I'm in England. You're in Wales, remember? Oh, that's true. Yeah, I'm going to get wet. You're not. Yeah, it's going to be like a literal <laughs> line down the middle of the campsite. <laughs> no, nah, it's all good. So let's get cooking. Fire. Let's Food. Do let's do some <laughs> open cooking. <laughs> let's get that fire on. Nobody knows me behind my face! <laughs> Flipping midges have come out all of a sudden. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> gonna be chicken a la food poisoning or what? But I'm gonna laugh if you burn your fingers because it's usually me. Oh. 